All right, guys, this is a, a short video on a new extension I have. So a um, little background. So I, I have a campaign we've been running for over a year, and uh, it's a 2E campaign. And uh, although this extension is made for 5E, 2E, CNC, Pathfinder, old school essentials, all of those things, um, the 2E campaign gave me the inspiration. We, uh, you know, my players have skills. They're into Underdark. They take a week just to get to anywhere, and so like I've made them actually, uh, you know, provide themselves food and sustenance, right? And it, it's added like a whole dynamic to the game. And so last week we spent like this is going to sound strange, an hour uh, making and hunting, money, making food and hunting for food and acquiring food. And I said, you know what? It would be cool if we had like an extension that we could use for this. And so what I did was, is I uh, made an extension called Fantasy Eats, kind of like Uber Eats, and uh, this is how it works. So this is 5e, and this is the light theme, and so you'll have right above your chat bar, you're going to have this little button, and it's going to open this little window here. Okay, you can close it, open it, whatever. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some GM options. So we're going to click this little magnifying glass, and uh, we'll go through these real quick. So the first option is how big your rations are. So my rations are one pound each, so that's the default. But you could say they're two pounds each. It's up to you, and that's going to determine like you know how many you can make based on what you put in the window. So that's an important thing. Now I set this thing in here called a supreme multiplier. What this is, is if you exceed the target number right here uh, by four, it's going to give you some sort of multiplicate effect. Like you're going to stretch the ingredients, you're going to make them go a little further. Okay? If you don't want to use that, you just click it and it defaults to one and it becomes locked. Okay? So we're going to set it back. All right, same thing with the fail multiplier. You could uh, just say we're going to burn food, right? You fail, you fail, you don't get anything. And you get a different message uh, 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 for if you have this unchecked. And then your die roll. So the default's D20. You can make it D100. You can make it whatever. So uh, the differences uh, rely or, or lie really with how the rolls are done. So 5E, uh, CNC, um, I guess Pathfinder 2 uh, would all be uh, roll above. And so like if I set my target number to 12 and it's this is 5E, it's going to roll above. If I'm in the 2E rule set and I'm using this or the old school essentials, it's going to be roll below because that's how skills are handled there. So, uh, all right, so we got our GM options set, and now we have a character. So what we do is, is uh, we'll look at his inventory first, nothing in his inventory. We take the character and we add him, he's the cook. So we add him there, right? Okay, now, uh, once he's in here, all the players can look at this and watch this, but what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna add some ingredients. And so I made a module that's gonna be included with this, because 5e doesn't really have any food items, but, um, you know, 2E does, so it's called 5E Fantasy Eats. We're gonna add it, and we're just gonna come in here, and we're gonna click on the items. All right, so there's just all these items. There's like a bass, an orange, beans, bear meat, cat carrots, and they're all just kind of default one pound, right? Okay, so, um, you know, I didn't set prices on these. You guys could, you know, it could be forage, you could hunt, whatever. So we're just gonna add some stuff here. So uh, let's see, let's add, um, some uh, bread let's say we had bread and we're going to add um uh some some i don't know some chicken and maybe some herbs okay and i, I i'm not entirely sure what this is going to make but uh let's see all right so we're going to go look at his inventory so we're going to make a we're going to have to hit update weight so there's three pounds so i should get three rations on a normal success we're going to roll, and it's a supreme success, so I got five rations, and so I got some savory breaded meat here. Mmm, delicious, right? And look, it puts it in the inventory, and they weigh one pound each, okay? Uh, now let's do, uh, uh, let's do something else. Let's do, we can add, uh, let's see, uh, maple syrup and a sack of flour. Let's see what happens. So we're going to make this, and in this case, we're going to make three sugar crisps, okay? Now there's a table associated with this, so if I roll it again, hopefully I get something else. Uh, oh, I, I failed. I ruined my meal. Okay, I rolled it below. Let's see. Uh, oh, another supreme success. Ooh, three empanadas. Mmm, delicious. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, a cake. Okay, nice, right? So there's some cake. Uh, you know, I can add... Uh, Let's see, I can add an apple 
and um, I could add some uh, some chicken uh, and uh, I don't know let's do some flour do we have any flour yeah okay and I can I can roll that and let's see what we get I get uh, mini fruit cakes mmm with chicken delicious <laughs> Okay, um, it's kind of random, like how it does it. So let's see. Uh, oh, I did this one especially for the hipsters. So we got avocado and uh, some some bread and maybe some I don't know. Let's add. Let's make it. Let's add a little fresh basil to it. Let's see what we get. We get um, ooh three spicy bread. Spicy bread. What? Okay. Let's add, let's see if we just do the avocado and bread. It's a uh, a ruined my meal. I ruined it again. I'm gonna have to turn the fail off. Yeah, let's turn the fail off. Let's turn it to 0.5. There you go. Avocado toast. Now it should. If I, what if I add some honey? It should be maybe glazed avocado toast. Overcooked, so slightly overcooked glazed avocado toast. Now I don't know why the spicy's not working. What if I do like some fish, like a fish? Let's see what happens. I get uh, savory breaded meat. Ugh, okay, that's kind of gross with avocado. Um, let's see, uh, how about a nutty? Is this gonna make nutty avocado toast? Yeah, it's a nutty avocado toast. So, I mean, it kind of like, uh, you know, it changes a little bit based on, but it is a little bit random, so, um, Let's see, there's all kinds of different recipes I made in here. Um, you can also like specify, you could say, I wanna make wedding cakes, right? And it'll override the tables and I'm gonna make them with, uh, you know, a sack of flour and uh, I don't know, some herbs, I don't know, and honey. And then we're gonna make wedding cakes. And so there is that, right? You can you could specify what you want to make, but I, I think it's kind of funny to play around with the random food. And anyways, it all adds to your inventory, so you have it, so you can track your rations. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, when you're done, you just close it out. Um, it's a kind of a role-playing tool. It's just something to have fun. Um, if you have, oh, let me point out one other thing. But if you have any questions, let me know. So. One of the things that's important is the weight here. So um, if I change this to like two, okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna we'll do two two sacks of sugar. So that should make that four. All right. So on a normal success now, I should only make two ingredients, right, and three on a supreme. So okay, I failed. So I made one. Let's see if we can get a normal or a. Of course, I could probably just turn my TN down. Okay. So three on a Supreme, right? So so it actually, and then I just make it a glazed. What, what is that? Oh, I added just sugar. <laughs> There's actually no food in there. That's funny. Uh, we gotta add some, some bread, maybe. And then it, okay, it made some empanadas. Let's find the empanadas. So let's see, I made five empanadas. And you can see now these are two pounds each. So it actually does all that math for you when it makes the items. So anyways, I just wanted to show that real quick. All right, well, thanks for watching the video. Um, this will be on the Forge. And uh, like I said, it'll work with 5e, which is what it's designed for, 2e, uh, should work with CNC, old school essentials, and it should work with Pathfinder. I'm going to test it out. The items will actually open in um, old school essentials, uh, 2e and 5e. I'm not sure about Pathfinder yet. Thanks.